book 166. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today, I'm going to tell you guys about the Disfigured Lion Cub. That's right, the Disfigured Lion Cub. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, A long, long time ago, a mother lion gave birth to four lion cubs. Two of these cubs were females and two of them were males. One of the males, believe it or not, was one of my ancestors, no less, and he was born with a disfigured right paw. His paw was deformed and large, and the bone was twisted. Also, the lion cub had no sense of feeling in this paw. Because of this disfigurement, it was difficult for the cub to walk, and he stumbled around a lot. The mother lion recognized that one of her cubs was deformed, and she saw this deformity as a weakness that would hinder the entire pride. So, she disowned him and refused to care for him. The lion cub tried his best to gain the acceptance of the others, but to no avail. Eventually, he was cast out into the wilderness to slowly die alone. Sad and afraid, the lion cub stumbled off and struggled to find food. He faced several dangers and he experienced many long days and nights, but he somehow managed to survive. At times, he was hungry. At times, he was weak. And at times, he wished he had never been born. But through it all, the lion cub pushed through the pain and the fear, and he continued to survive. One day, the lion cub looked up, and he was no longer a little lion cub. He had grown into a large adult lion with a beautiful mane and muscular form. Even his disfigured paw was no longer a liability. In fact, it had turned into an asset. Because his paw was so big, he was stronger than the average male lion, and because he had no feeling in it, he could wield it in a fight more effectively as well. The disfigured lion was walking across the savannah one day, and he saw a pack of hyenas off in the distance attacking a wounded lioness. Because he hated hyenas for making his life hard as a child, the disfigured lion ran over to help. When he got close enough to attack, he roared loudly and began to swing his massive paw. With each swipe, he knocked the hyenas down one by one. When he did, each hyena felt the power of his swings and they immediately retreated, not wanting to be hit a second time. Once he had dispersed the pack of hyenas, he turned his attention to the wounded lioness. To his surprise, the lioness was his mother who had abandoned him so long ago. She explained to him that the leader of their pride was killed by the hyenas and she thanked him for saving her life. The disfigured lion then followed her back to the rest of the pride, and because of his strength and bravery, they all eagerly made him the new leader of them all. And so, the morning motivation of the day is the disfigured lion cub. Sometimes, we can be defined by others as having a defect or a disability. However, this thing that they call a defect is really only a difference. It takes a special kind of person to see the benefit of a difference when they are conditioned to only see value in those things which are normal and common. You may have been ostracized by those close to you because you do not look, act, and think like them. And this act of being ostracized can cause us to feel sorry for ourselves. But today, I want you to consider the fact that what they are calling a defect is actually just a difference. And that difference is the thing that makes you special and unique. Try to see value in how you were created and always strive to do that which is good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning.